Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you wanted to tell me more about the loom. Ah, hello. Uh, yes, about that. Deke has had a thought. He... <gasps> Seems the room thinks you need more space for your beasts. Uh, as Deke was saying, uh, he's had a thought. Now, Deke knows how you can test the item of clothing that you enhanced in the Enchanted Loom. And uh, perhaps help an old friend in the process. What do you mean? A house elf named Tobbs works for his master, retrieving leech juice in a cave near Hogwarts. Tobbs' master doesn't let him leave the cave. And Deke knows the cave is infested with spiders. That sounds awful. It is. Deke hasn't heard from his friend for a while now. As the item you wove in the loom has an enchantment that might be useful, Deke thought you could test it whilst checking on Tobbs. I understand. Leave it to me, Deke. I'll find Tobbs for you. Oh, thank you. Please let Deke know what you learn about Deke's old friend. As it feels. Confringo! Tobbs' master is awful. Tobbs? Tobbs? Deke sent me. Are you in here? Legs is simply too many. Didn't sound particularly reassuring.
There's a victory that came none too soon. <gasps> Self is Tobbs. Poor Tobbs. Left here alone with the spiders. table looks familiar. Seems I'm back at the entrance to the cave. I'm back from the cave, Deke. Wonderful! Uh, uh, Deke hopes you gave Deke's best to Tobbs. <sighs> I'm sorry to tell you this, Deke, but Tobbs is gone. It seems he was unable to avoid the spiders in the end. Oh my, Deke was afraid of this, alone in that cave for so long. Oh, poor Tobbs. Uh, Deke and Tobbs once shared the same master. When he died, uh, we were separated. Deke always wished Tobbs had been sent to Hogwarts too. Deke feels lucky to serve such kind witches and wizards like you. Deke will miss his friend dearly, and will raise a glass to him with a heavy heart. <laughs> I'm truly sorry about your friend, Deke. Thank you. You are very kind. Deke could use some time alone to think, if that's all right. Hello, Deke. You wanted to talk to me? Indeed. Uh, Deke thought you might want to learn how to build a breeding pen uh, so that you can breed beasts. That sounds a very good idea. Rescuing and breeding beasts go hand in hand. Uh, young beasts are particularly vulnerable to poachers. Breeding beasts here in the room will allow us to keep the younger ones safe. I see. And what do I need to do? First, bring a pair of beasts to the room. One male, one female. Deke suggests rescuing Thestrals, as they're at great risk from poachers. Noble creatures, but their relationship with death gives them a bad reputation. They're prized by poachers for their tail hairs. I've seen Thestrals before, but where would I find a pair of them nearby? Deke has seen some wild Thestrals not too far from the Hogwarts grounds. Then, you'll need to purchase a spellcraft for the pen from Tomes and Scrolls and gather the materials it requires. Once you've rescued the Thestrals and you have the spellcraft, you come and find Deke. Rebellion.
Professor Howen will never believe this. Just let me know if there's something in particular you're looking for. Now I can conjure a breeding pen in the room. Best get back to Deke with the Thestrals. I've rescued the Thestrals and bought the spellcraft for the pen. Excellent! Now, to breed your Thestrals, simply release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Come and see Deke when you're finished. I shall. I wonder where I should conjure their pen. never grows tired of the room's surprises. We now have the perfect place for those Thestrals. Please let Deke know once you've bred them. should let Deke know about the newborn Thestral. Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we both can see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts. But sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all beasts, that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself, before Tobbs found him. What a horrible tale, Deke. I'm so sorry. Deke has only told Professor Weasley that story. And now yourself. Deke often wonders what became of that phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. Lumos, 